Russia's brutal and unjustified war against Ukraine has been shaping the recent global political agenda. It affects Lithuania's security as well as the security situation in the region and the whole of Europe. And it is more obvious than ever that Russia is and will remain the biggest threat to our security. The Kremlin aims to exhaust Ukraine and break its willingness to resist no matter the cost. By increasing the size of its army and defense spending, Russia is preparing itself for a long-term conflict with Ukraine and the West. But when conventional military or diplomatic measures fail, Russia often resorts to nuclear blackmail. These threats are designed to deter any Western support to Ukraine and convince Russian audience that the country is under existential threat. Russia's aggression against Ukraine turns Russia into a totalitarian state. The war helps to reinforce Putin's personal power, provides an excuse to repress political opponents, and tests loyalty of the elites. Although the Western sanctions have not led to a collapse of the economy, the problems are building up gradually. This undermines political and economic foundations of the regime. Alexander Lukashenko has not only provided Russia with the ability to use its territory for offensive operations against Ukraine, but also allows deploying the contingent of the Russian armed forces. This has a negative effect on the security of Lithuania and other NATO members. In case of conflict with the West, Russia would enjoy unlimited access to Belarus territory and military support. The situation of the Lukashenko's regime is dependent on the Kremlin's success in the war against Ukraine. With Moscow's continued failures in Ukraine and growing economic losses due to Western sanctions, the Kremlin's financial capacity to support Belarus will gradually diminish. The Lukashenko's regime will seek to maintain a stable economic situation in Belarus and abstain from any actions that could stir popular dissent. European states reacted to Russia's aggression against Ukraine by expelling its intelligence officers under diplomatic cover. This caused a significant blow to Russian human intelligence collection capabilities and will force Moscow to search for new intelligence opportunities. Russian and Belarusian intelligence services have become more active on the Russian-Lithuanian border, posing an additional risk to Lithuanian or Western citizens visiting these countries. Lithuania restricts the dissemination of Russian propaganda, limits its availability. Meanwhile, the majority of Lithuanian population regards Russia as a threat. In an effort to sustain its influence and justify aggression against Ukraine, Moscow attempts to attract Lithuanian residents to pro-Russian public activity. Aggressive policy pursued by the authoritarian China is another source of threats. The Chinese president has secured unlimited power, eliminated political rivals, whereas state security apparatus seeks to silence any dissatisfaction among Chinese public. As China's aggression towards Taiwan increases, Chinese-Russian cooperation intensifies 